Hi, it's Ryan Lee. For people on the autism spectrum like myself, connecting with others is an uphill battle and can be extremely difficult. From my own personal experience, sometimes it's like I can't trust my own mind or body when I'm usually still in control and the next minute I'm just not. For example, one time I met a guy in an improv class I was trying out because I wanted to try something new and we seemed to hit it off pretty well. While we were hanging out one time, the conversation we were having seemed to be going pretty smoothly until I said something that was meant to be a joke, but he kind of took it the wrong way and I didn't know it at the time. The next time I saw him at class, he kept walking away from me when I was trying to talk to him and wouldn't say anything and I didn't know why. I heard from someone else that he said what I said offended him and he didn't want to be friends with me ever again. Hearing that really hurt me to my core, but I'm looking to have friends that love me unconditionally and that I can confide in them when I'm feeling that way. Those feelings of rejection can hurt really bad and can be overwhelming, but I can get through them if I'm just honest with myself. So if anything like that happens again, which I really hope doesn't, but there are still chances it might, I'll be okay. Everyone deserves a second chance, you know, because you never know what struggles they are facing or what they could be going through. My brain just works differently, and that isn't something I should be punished for. This World Autism Month, it's time that people get to know the autism community for who we really are. Okay. This pandemic was really difficult for us because most of us have to stay inside and miss getting socialized, you know? Also, if something we do is bothering you, just tell us how you feel. Take it from me. We won't bite. Just because we see things differently doesn't make us less human. Even though my friend's rejection hurt like others' rejection I've suffered in the past, I won't let people's misjudgment stop me from trying to connect with my peers. Because we should not be defined by our mistakes. Plus, how are we supposed to learn from our mistakes if we can't make them? It's a fact of life that everybody makes mistakes. And there is no shame in that. Thank you.